imagine one of the blessings and favors of Allah upon us, which is the eyesight. How many eyes do you have? That's, that's a good answer. We have two eyes. How many people do we have on earth? Say billion, six billion? Multiplied by two? Twelve billion eyes on earth. And the Americans and the British and, and, and the, the Russians and the Europeans could not manufacture one single eye. Is that true? And Allah created how many? Twelve billion eyes existing. And what about those in the making the wombs of pregnant women? So give two or three billion extra. What about the eyes of the ants? The eyes of the bees? The eyes of the fish, the eyes of the insects, the eyes of the birds, the eyes of all living creatures. Who's creating this? The angels? No. It is Allah Azza wa Jal. So when you stand in submissiveness facing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your prayer, you say, Allahu Akbar, know who you're talking to. And then this adds value to you when you finish your prayer. Because then, when I go outside, in the open, on the streets, I know that Allah is watching over me. And Allah is watching me in whatever I do. If I turn on something that angers Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, I would not listen to that because I know that He's hearing what I'm hearing. And then, if I ask Allah, if I am in that state, if I ask Allah, Allah would answer me. And if I seek his forgiveness, he will forgive me. And if I seek his provisions, he will provide to me. No matter how hard things are, no matter how bad the calamity is, only Allah can relieve you from it. There was a man who used to lead prayer for his expedition at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. But every time he recited the Fatiha, he would read another surah, and in the end he would conclude it with, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Allahu Samad, Lam Yalid, Walam Yulad, Walam Yakullahu, Kufu, one Ahad. So his companions came to him and said, Listen, you're reciting two surahs. Either recite the first one or recite Qul Hu Allah Ahad alone. But why combine them both? He said, Listen, this is the way I pray. You like it? Alhamdulillah. You don't find someone else to lead the prayer. I don't want to be your Imam. And they dwelt among themselves and said, He's our best man. He's the most righteous person. He's the most knowledgeable person. So they went to the Prophet ﷺ and complained. Oh Prophet of Allah, this man who leads a prayer does this. The Prophet told them, go back to him and ask him, why do you recite it? So they went and they said, the Prophet says this and this and, and that. So he said, he justified by saying, because it contains the description of Allah. And I like it and I love it for this. So they went to the Prophet and told them this. The Prophet said, Your love to the description of Allah made you enter Jannah. And in another narration, he told them, Go back to him and tell him that Allah loves you. Because you love this. What did it contain? The description of Allah. So your most important task in life, not your schools, not your home chores, not to buy a big house or to drive a fancy car. Your most important mission on earth is to know Allah Azza wa Jal. If you fill your heart with the knowledge of Allah, nothing can harm you, nothing can stop you, nothing can worry you, nothing can intimidate you. And this is why when we stand in prayer and say, Allahu Akbar, you have to understand what this mean, what, uh, this, this word means. You have to know. Allahu Akbar, Allah is greater. Then what? Then everything. Very easy word to say. You have to say it in details. You have to believe in it in details. When you say Allahu Akbar, everything that worries you, believe that Allah is bigger than that. So when you say Allah is greater than my worries, is greater than my debts, is greater than my fear of my wife, or is greater than my fear of my husband, 
is greater than my husband's abuse is greater than my in-laws uh, uh, frequent attack verbal and physical it's bigger than my worries at work my uh, 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 bosses controlling uh, over me it's bigger than everything that is why when you say Allahu Akbar you are focusing you are fully contemplating and you have the full submissiveness to seek Allah Azza wa Jal and it is difficult you, you have to work hard for this to know Allah to love Allah a, a, one of the righteous predecessors of the scholars saw a beggar begging people for money and he's asking oh Shaykh, oh scholar give me one dirham so the Shaykh said okay would you take a hundred thousand dirham and I'll take your eye he said no you're crazy okay will you take a hundred thousand and I take your hearing would you take a hundred thousand and you give me your hand both of them your feet your health your ability to speak and every time the beggar is saying no and the scholar said subhanallah you're begging people for one dirham while you are carrying hundreds and thousands of dirhams and you're not appreciative of that ya akhi don't you look at the blessing and the favor of Allah that you have on the day of judgment hell will be dragged in front of the people it would have 70,000 leeches and each one has 70,000 angels they're just dragging one creation of Allah Azza wa Jal. all of this to imagine Allah's greatness and Allah's wealth subhanahu wa ta'ala and you cannot imagine that the prophet tells us that al bayt al ma'mur is equivalent to the kaaba on earth it is in the seventh heaven every single day since allah created the creation 70000 angels enter it and never return to it again how many angels does allah have subhanahu wa ta'ala imagine 70000 a day and they never return to it and every single day another new 70,000 and all of these are angels of Allah Azza wa Jal. if you try to figure out how many leaves do we have in that tree how many it's impossible for us to count it it, it can be but it is quite difficult how many trees mashallah you have in in Birmingham how many trees you have in Scotland how many trees you have worldwide in the jungles of the Amazons in here and there trillions and trillions and trillions of trees wallahi not a single leaf falls except it is recorded at the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal and Allah knows when it will fall and how it will fall and where it would land everything we do Allah knows about this